Hi there, and welcome back to Sotten Brain Hub. My name is Calvin, and today we'll be talking about uncle herniation. Uncle herniation is a life-threatening subtype of transtentorial brain herniation. Here, the uncus, a structure located at the frontal end of the parahippocampal gyrus in the temporal lobe, shifts downwards across the tentorium cerebelli, which is the fold of the dura mater that separates the cerebellum from the upper part of the occipital lobes. This movement compresses surrounding structures, the brainstem and posterior cerebral arteries. Increased intracranial pressure, often stemming from the cerebral hemispheres, is the main cause of uncal herniation, which may be either unilateral or bilateral. Uncle herniation can be triggered by any condition that significantly raises intracranial pressure. Severe head trauma resulting in rapid subdural or epidural hematoma, as well as intracerebral bleeding, are both key causes of uncle herniation. Conditions such as expanding mass lesions, for example brain tumours or abscesses, can also increase the chance of uncle herniation occurring. Individuals with a history of ischemic strokes and obstructive hydrocephalus are also at an elevated risk. Features of impending uncle herniation often closely resemble those related to increased intracranial pressure, such as headaches, nausea, vomiting and altered mental status. Cushing's triad, characterised by hypertension, bradycardia and irregular respiration or apnea may also be evident. One distinctive feature of uncle herniation is an acute loss of consciousness due to compression of ascending arousal pathways with an associated ipsilateral pupil dilation, colloquially known as a blown pupil, due to compression of cranial nerve 3, the ocular motor nerve, which carries parasympathetic input to the eyes and is located just medial to the uncus. Compression of the ocular motor nerve in uncle herniation also affects the eye muscles and may manifest over time with a downward and outward eye deviation with decreased eye movement, signs classically referred to as a third nerve palsy. Swelling of the optic disc, known as papilledema, may also be found as an additional late stage finding. Another cardinal sign of uncle herniation is a contralateral hemiparesis due to compression or displacement of the corticospinal tract. Untreated uncle herniation may advance to central herniation, involving downward transtentorial herniation of the diencephalon and midbrain, leading to lethargy, coma, and eventually death. The initial treatment for uncle herniation focuses on reducing intracranial pressure. Management strategies include elevating the head at a 30 degree angle, hyperventilation, or hyperosmolar therapy using substances like mannitol or hypertonic fluids. In more severe cases unresponsive to conservative measures, surgical interventions may be considered. This may include the surgical removal of a hematoma, brain tumour or abscess. Additional measures may involve placing a ventricular drain to eliminate excess cerebrospinal fluid to further reduce pressure. If all these other options are exhausted, a decompressive craniectomy, entailing the removal of a portion of the skull, can also be considered to alleviate pressure. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and others related to the anatomy of the head, neck and brain. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.